Okay, so I'm going to learn the process of how to do pupusas, so pretty awesome. So you guys didn't see the first couple of steps, but basically you make a flat tortilla, then you bring the bean and cheese uh, mix and you put it in the center and then you close it up like an empanada and then you take the like extra masa on top and then you roll it back into a ball and then flatten it back again so you get a ball of masa and you basically just round it up make a nice little firm ball make sure it's nice and smooth yeah. And then you put it in there and then you squeeze it and then you kind of just, as you are twisting it in your hands, you're trying to flatten it out but keep the round shape. And then once it's nice and big, oh, so then. And you're trying to make it nice and thin because that way you get more of them, the filling inside and you don't get too much masa because it's the masa is just like plain, you know, so all the flavors in the filling. Okay, so now mine's nice and flat. And then you grab the bowl of filling, which is um, beans, rice, and loroco. Squeeze it together and then bring it in and take that like extra masa from the top and then make another little okay so it kind of cracked there but i'm just gonna try to pretend the crack's not there so there you go so i made a pusa One more thing is, how do you make the masa? Buy masa, and then you mix it with water, and you like just keep on adding water like until you get like a, a play-doh consistency. Unless you try to make a ball and it doesn't crack, then you know that that's like the perfect consistency. But anyways, so these have been on the stove. They're about to get flipped over, and we'll stack them over here. So you can fill them in with like pork, cheese, beans, and a pill for pain. No, I don't have that. I love David. Um, ask mom. Ask mom. She might have some painkillers. What? What hurts? He slept bad. He slept bad. Um, anyway, so I'm so excited. And then of course we serve it with this like um, cabbage, this fermented cabbage, and. Like it has some carrots and um, salsa verde and some other great stuff. It's like smells so delicious. I can't wait to have it. So this is the pusas with, since Spanish you call this curtido. And that's like the cabbage um, mixed with everything. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. It is delicious. It's so good. I need to contain myself. Yes, I am. But um, we're all enjoying them. So Anthony and I are going to go to the Sequoia track and we're just going to run for a couple minutes before we go to our that um, boot camp slash like obstacle course gym. Um, which we've been loving and it's been killing our butts. So um, we didn't work out this whole weekend. Well, at least I didn't because it was the weekend, you know, and you need to take a break and I'm on vacation. So remember <laughs> our last workout that kicked butt. Yeah, just a warm up.
meal, breakfast, egg white, ketchup, plantain, and sausage from my sister Christina to me. Seriously, this comes in handy. So I just said goodbye to my sister Christina who came and visit me and I'm with my mom and my dad and it is time to go home. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Wow, that was the hardest thing that I hate doing is just saying goodbye to my parents. I'll miss them. I can't wait to come back.